We have enlisted the help of our good our good friend and producer here at KSEO Studios, Bill Graff. Bill, are, are, are you I ready? Am. I'm here. Okay. So which which part did he give you? Do you know? I'll be the flight engineer. Okay. You're going to be the flight engineer. Now, this is... Did, have you ever seen flight or Terror at 20,000 feet? No, I haven't. You, you haven't? Oh, no. man. This is a great... Uh, a great episode, and uh, William Shatner stars in the old original version, and he does is, he play a Captain Kirk like character? No, he's actually just got out of the nut farm, and, <laughs> oh, and uh, that says it all. And, and luck, as luck would have it, he there's a, there's this monster outside on the plane wing that only he sees, and everybody thinks that he's having a relapse and his uh, mental condition is is a uh, you know coming back. But that's not what it is. So who is? Well, who, who, what, what, are you going to play uh, like three different parts here, Billy? No, I guess I'm just going to have to play the one part and then just the 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 female part. I guess that's all right. I can do that. Okay. All right. You ready? Sure. All right. I am ready, Dave. I'm a little nervous. All right. I'm nervous here too. Go, here we go. A lot of audio cues, and here we go. Those all right? Those yeah. all right? Yeah. Yeah. Be fine. Uh, do you want me to sit next to the window? Do you want me to sit, sit next to the window? No, no, I'm fine. I can sit. Uh, Billy. Can, uh, no, Billy. No, 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 no. It, it, it doesn't matter, Dave. What's the difference where I sit? It's not the seat. <laughs> it's the airplane. You want to move? <laughs> Billy, you can't smoke that in here. Sorry. I'm not acting much like a cured man, am I, Dave? Billy, you are cured. Dr. Martin wouldn't let you fly if you weren't. Would he? I suppose not, Dave. I mean, if you weren't well, Dr. Martin just wouldn't let you fly all the way back home. It's just that simple. Well, you make it sound simple anyway, Dave. It is, Billy. Now, Billy, I'm not going to let... Uh... You okay, Billy? Just a little uh, abject cowardice, that's all. I'm going to be all right. I had a teensy, weensy breakdown. Now I'm cured. Understanding, it's, it's wonderful. It, it isn't the airplane at all. Over tensions, anxiety, due to underconfidence. Seat belt, sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. Portrait of a frightened man, Mr. Billy Army, 37, husband, father on sick leave. Mr. Army has just been discharged from a sanitarium where he spent the last six months recovering from a nervous breakdown. The onset of which took place on an evening not dissimilar to this one, on an airliner very much like the one in which Mr. Army is about to be flown home. The difference being that on that evening half a year ago, Mr. Army's flight was terminated by the onslaught of his mental breakdown. Tonight he's traveling all the way to his appointed destination, which, contrary to Mr. Army's plan, happens to be in the darkest corner of the Flight 1080 zone. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Go back to sleep. I should have taken that sleeping pill. I should stay awake with you. No, no. I don't want you to. Go back to sleep. I'm all right. Can't you sleep? I will. Don't worry about me. All right. Okay. What is... I think I see something out on the wing. Here, quickly! May I help you? There's a man out there! What? Look, look, he's crawling on the... Sorry. Must have been a case of terrible acting. And... Uh, Billy, what is it? Oh, it's nothing, uh, Mr. Michaels. Can I get you anything? A glass of water. Surely. Something wrong? No, no. I, I, uh, I thought I saw something weird out on the uh, thing there, Dave. What? Nothing. I guess I just need a little sleep. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't you think you ought to take a sleeping pill now? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll take one of those. Here is your water, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I get you a blanket? No, no, uh, Dave? Oh, no, no, thanks. 
You'll be all right now. Yeah, yeah, fine. Wake me if you need anything. I, uh, I'll do that. Huh. What do you know? Look out there. It isn't there. It isn't there. Dave? Dave, 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 wake up. Quickly! Yes, Mr. Army? Can I help you, Mr. Army? I, I, uh, the storm is making me nervous. Just a small storm, nothing to worry about. Dave, 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 would you wake up? David, David. No, 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 no. It's out there. Dave, Dave, wake up. What is it? It's a... What are you looking at, Billy? It's is it, is uh, it the storm? Does no, it bother no, you? No, 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 Dave, 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 Dave. Do you remember what I told you about before about seeing something outside? Yes. Dave, there's a man out there. I, I don't mean a man. I mean, I don't know what I mean. I mean, maybe a, uh, no, 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 what did they call them during the war? You know, those uh, pilots, gremlins. Yeah, you remember the stories of the... Billy. Dave, Dave, don't, don't, don't look at me like that. Billy. I'm not imagining it. I'm not imagining it. He's out there. Don't look. He's not there now, Dave. He he jumps away whenever anyone might see him, except me. Dave, Dave, he's out there. I realize what this sounds like. Do I look insane? No, Billy. No. No, you don't. I know I had a mental breakdown. No, I had it in an airplane. I know it looks to you as if the same thing's happening again, but it isn't. I'm sure it isn't. Look, the reason I'm telling you this isn't just to worry you. You notice I didn't tell you before. Well, I want you to tell me. I didn't want to tell you before. I wasn't sure whether it was real or not, but now I am sure it is real. There's a man out there, or a gremlin, or, or whatever it is. I mean, if I described him to you, you'd really think I was gone. No, Billy. It's, it's all right, though. It, it's, it's all right. Dave, I know your intentions are good. I know you sympathize with me, but do not patronize me. I am not insane. Did I say? Does it have to be said? It's in your face, in your look. For the last time, that creature's out there, and the reason I'm telling you, he's starting to tamper with one of the engines, okay? Look, look, think anything you want. Think I belong in a straitjacket, if it pleases you. If it pleases me? No, 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 I didn't mean that. What I mean is, whatever you think of me, that I'm losing my mind, anything, all I'm asking you to do is to tell the pilots what I've said. Ask them to keep an eye on the wings. They see nothing, all right. All right, then I'll, I'll, I'll commit myself. If they do, won't you even allow the possibility, David? I'll tell them. I know it's asking a lot. It's like asking you to advertise your co-host as a lunatic. <laughs> uh, no, it's all right. I'll, I'll tell them. You just sit tight and, and I'll go tell them. Mr. Michaels, what's the problem? May I help you? Oh, yes. Um, my friend wants to see the flight engineer. All right. If you'll stay right here, I'll have him see you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's very important. I think I see it out there again. Hurry, hurry, David, David. He's out there. What's going on? He's pulling up on, on one of the cowling plates. He? Didn't Dave? There's a man out there. Listen, keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I... Look, I, I don't know what's going on Will here. you look? Mr. Army, I'm warning you. Will you please look? In the name of, will you just, uh, there's something out there. Oh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw, I saw him pull that plate up. I said I saw him pull that plate up. Okay, okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. I see nothing. You mean you've seen him too? No, that's not what I said. Mr. Army, please. All right. 
You saw him, but there's other people aboard this plane. We mustn't alarm them. So you have seen him too? Of course we have. But we don't want to frighten the passengers. You, you can understand that. Of course. I understand. Now, the thing we got to remember... You can stop now. Sir? Get out of here. Mr. Army? I said you can stop. I just... I won't say another word, okay? I won't say another word. You're trying to humor me? I'll see us crash first. Mr. Wilson, try to understand our position. He did pull it up, Dave. He pulled it up. <sighs> ah, thank you, Dave. Thank you for those sedatives. Getting tired now, Dave. What did you do? Get his friend to give him some of those sleeping pills? Well, I was hoping that he'll be asleep. Storms are coming soon. Don't worry, Betty. Everything's fine. I hope so. Uh, oh, what does it give me? I... I see him again. He's out there. He's tearing up the cowling plate. Look over there. That off-duty officer has a pistol on him. <laughs> I can grab that gun. I'm gonna do it. I've got the gun now. No one even saw. Dave's sound asleep. I can't shoot through the window. That'll never work. <clears throat> Dave! Dave, could you uh, please give me a glass of water, Dave? Water? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, a glass of water. Please, hurry. I'm going to open the hatch door. I'm going to steel myself against this. And then I am going to shoot the dirty green... <laughs> That's the nuttiest way of trying to commit suicide I've ever heard of. <laughs> the 1080 flight of Mr. Billy Army has ended now. A flight not only from point A to point B, but also from the fear of reoccurring mental breakdown. Mr. Army has that fear no longer, though for the moment he is, as he has said, alone in this assurance. Happily, his conviction will not remain isolated too much longer, for happily, tangible manifestation is very often left as evidence of trespass, even from so intangible a quarter as the flight to Nadi Zone. That was great. We, we lost like a minute at the end, the whole entire last end of it. We just, I don't know what happened, Dave, but it was great because Billy covered and it was the funniest thing ever. He ended on that line of committing suicide, and then there was like a couple more lines. But it was actually funnier the way it was, I think. Probably happened. <laughs> that was good, though. We had some bumps in the road. But uh, you know what? This is part of the process, because I think next time I figure out a smoother way to do it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, was, the cues will be a little easier. There was kind of weird, bumpy. Was there some bumpy? Bu there was a little turbulence on that flight. It was good, though. It was the good. stewardess, I, she was great. She was my favorite. <laughs> the flight engineer did pretty good, too. The flight engineer was excellent. <laughs> That was Billy Graff. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, fantastic. Good, Sorry good we job. didn't rehearse that. We should rehearse these things next yeah, time. Yeah, we'll rehearse it at least one it's time. It's fun next not time. to rehearse. Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. Some of the funniest bits ever on Saturday Night Live were the ones they do at the last minute where nobody has time to do anything but go on stage. Yeah, everything was in there. It all made sense. Even until the end, you played the end of the... the That's the, what you told the, me to play. No, but there was two two files, Dave. But everything made sense. That's okay. the important part. Good, That's good. Everything made yeah, sense. Yeah. Okay. It's good. Well, it's good. everything made sense to Billy Army. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you again, Billy. This is Billy Army, and thanks for listening. You can follow me at all the usual social media sites. If you enjoy the content, uh, skip the whatever you want to call it. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing. Hit the button, as they say. You can also consider donating to the channel 
and the following links below. Have a great one, everybody.